This is uh, the new, all we know is it's a new Warcraft mobile game. Blizzard Entertainment presents. Oh my god, they're toys. I do love toys. I'll be honest. I'm a sucker for action figures. Some incredible articulation on these action figures, man. Warcraft Arc Light Arc Light Rumble. Hi, I'm Justine. And I'm Adam. And today we have hey, the Adam honor and Justine. Introducing you to Warcraft, Warcraft Arc Light, Arc Light Rumble. Rumble. We're very excited. So what is this game? What is this game? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Including the fumbles. This is Clash Royale. And villain collector. And villain collector game that has a vast PVE campaign. It also has dungeons and raids and PvP and co-op and everything you'd expect of a Warcraft game from Blizzard. We love games. Raids? We're super inspired by tower defense games. Our game isn't really tower defense. It's more our style to do a tower offense game. It's joyful chaos. And we're aiming to bring our Blizzard best to mobile games that inspire us. Chaos reigns. All the chaos. Can't use chaos twice. <laughs> I love this, like, instead of, like, of tavern, the Hearthstone tower Tavern board, it's, like, an arcade. Mysterious machine has been found. Is it new? Has it always been there? Powered by gnomish engineering and arc light. This machine has been generating famous and infamous battlegrounds for your entertainment. So when the battle begins, you'll come to the battlefield with your army, ready to go assault the boss. There's a base for you to defend. If the base dies, right your run is over. Also, there's meeting stones on the map. If we control the meeting stone, we can play things closer to the boss. If the enemy controls the meeting stone, they're gonna come at us a little bit closer as well. There's also towers on the map for you to go capture that lets you have a forward position so you can assault the boss directly. There's also shinies that you can get. There's gold nodes and treasure chests to plunder. You gotta get the shiny. Give me the shiny. Shiny. The more gold that you can get, the more chaos you can reign upon the field. I actually like this better seeing it in action, to be one honest. It's still not my favorite art every style, but. has their own personality, and every single one of them thinks they're the coolest. And they're all wrong, except for Blackrock Pyromancer. Yes! Oh. In Warcraft Arclight Rumble, we have five families. The Alliance! The Noble Alliance with a lot of defensive units and spells. Aha! There's also the Horde! the proud horde that will overpower your enemies. Heed my call! But there's also Black Rock to sear a hole mm. in your enemy's defenses. Like oh, I just down. wish the art style was like a little there's less a, a little less cartoony. You can bring a I wish it was just like 20% less cartoony for my taste, you know? And beef. It's we also like have a literal stampede from the plains and jungles of Azeroth. It's 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 ah. it's with all of the chaos Just a hair going too far. The troops, we need somebody to lead this rabble. Leaders are a way to cater your strategy and build a specific play style that suits you. If you want to play siege units, go for Sneed. Sneed! Sneed has a trait called Sneed's Greed that makes all of your siege units grab extra gold. My personal favorite is Ren. With his ability Black in the Sky, it makes all of your flying units one gold cheaper so you can fill the air with chaos. Chaos. But like the style a little more there are serious, yeah. Strategies that you can assemble with this. There are I mean, I can get over to if the gameplay and monetization are good, perhaps, you don't need but to have an understanding of Warcraft to be able to embrace the chaos. Yes! A 
sense of exploration and wonder should come across regardless. Speaking of wonder, let's go play a game. We're gonna do it live. I mean, it'll be edited later, but that's okay. Welcome to Jinrog's Swole Troll Isle. A live, sorta. Of strength. This is a fun map because I did the design for it and Justine did the art. We'd have our animators and our character artists to make all this happen. There's so many people that go into making this a reality. After mercenaries, I don't have faith in the executives. Yeah, that'll always be a risk, I think. Smash that start button, let's go. Okay, here comes a troll. He's coming down our lane. And the first thing we're gonna do is have some harpies go say hello. There's a kobold that's already trying to steal gold over there. We're gonna let him go. So this plays so very much like Clash Royale. Coming. You're deploying you units, you know. Let's play a huntress to help this out a little bit. And here comes another swole troll. Let's send out some- But this is more like uh, uh, PVE. I don't remember Clash having a PVE component when I played it. It was I'm more PVP, which I'm sure this will also have PVP components. <laughs> I'm sure they said that and I forgot already. Easy. I thought you said you couldn't lose. You designed this map. Smash that start button. Let's go. All right. Here comes the swole troll. I gotta say, by the way, this feels like a very well executed reveal compared coming, to what we remember from Mercenaries, where it felt like I didn't know anything that was going on. It definitely needs to get out of here. <laughs> Stay shiny, that was actually good. good All right, uh, that was good. So that, that was fun. Fuel our harpy addiction. All right, good. Have those chickens come in and peck that swole troll just like it's a snack. Oh my gosh, look at all of these units coming in here. Dude, I like, like those chickens. Lightning. That actually looks pretty fun. I'm not excited Hopefully for this, but I'll give it a try. Oh. Yeah, I will too, of course. There you go. Woo! Overtime. Oh, we're in overtime. overtime. All right. Down to the wire. Harpies, come on. Time's running, Time's running out. Too close. All right, all right, all right. Let's do a wombo combo. Brilliant. We saw that in the trailer. That's just one of the 70 plus maps that we have to play all over Azeroth. One of my favorite maps is going back to Stranglethorn, deep in the jungle, is Gurubashi Arena. King Mukla is there with his Mukla! And Bonandalia. There's a couple of apes in Ungro that have some. I kind of dig that it looks like there's sort of like positional implications of how you're deploying and everything. Queen. They seem like Tyrant actual boss mechanics. Like he had AoE sweeps and. Before she bites your base. Tasty base. There's always going to be unique challenges depending on each map. When it comes to maps that require you to be able to take charge of the high ground or combat massive cannon bombardment. I mean, in a lot of ways, so this ways looks like what mercenaries. The fantasy that Mercenaries tends to deliver on. Mayev has a really awesome talent called Cloak of Shadows. Wherever you play her on the map, she will cast Smoke Bomb and stealth everything around her so you can make wow. a mobile assault squad anywhere on the map. Cool. Warcraft. 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 I mean, <laughs> listen, so they are, they are all in on this. I respect that. I can never you pull can off that a level of we commitment. Didn't talk about we didn't talk about dungeons. You can play dungeon solo, or if you want to play co-op, you can as well. We didn't talk about co-op. We forgot to talk about co-op. Co-op, you can join a guild. You can play with your friends. You can join a guild and you can fight your friends. Fight, fight, fight. You can go play raids with them. There's so many things. Oh, to do man, on Nixia Raid. Talk about raids. You're just gonna have to stay tuned for more information, aren't you? Close bid is coming to limited regions soon, so keep an eye on social media for more information. Soon. On behalf of the team, we are so excited for you guys to get your hands on this, and we really, really look forward to your feedback and input. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Enjoy the joy. Enjoy the chaos. The chaos, it never ends. It's Clash of Clans. It's actually chaos. Clash Royale, but I like... It seems like one that's far more in depth with a bigger PVE focus. I don't I don't remember playing any PV, PVE in Clash of Clans. Pre-register now at warcraftrumble.blizzard.com. Uh, oh no, actually I can be over here, but you guys will be over there. Hold up. Let's fix this real quick. Uh professional streamer. Professional streamer. There you are guys. Woo! Welcome. So let's talk about this a little bit. Um I guess first off, what did you guys think? What did you guys think? I I gotta say, like, here's here's my first take, right? Art style, too cartoony for me. Personal preference, and it's not that it's like poorly executed or anything necessarily, just not an art style that I care for. It it it, it gives it, you know, that sort of stereotypical mobile feel, which is going to, I think, make a lot of people immediately dismiss it. In fact, I'm sure many of you have already. 
based on the like look of it alone because some people want like a very serious i'm i'm awesome and tough and i like you know adult fantasy which is fine by the way oh chat is on both sides of the screen oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> yeah that's better thank you <laughs> uh thanks for the heads up so you know that's fine like some people think hearthstone's art style is already too cartoony right and I, I think Hearthstone hits pretty much a nice sweet spot for me, like a little bit fun, a little bit irreverent, but still has some some more, you know, cool fantasy stuff. So uh, the art style is probably a miss for me. But I have to say the gameplay pleasantly surprised me. Clash Royale is a game that has a lot of monetization issues, but I actually thought Clash Royale's gameplay was always pretty fun. Like the PvP aspect of deploying your teams was great the the worst parts of clash royale were the progression for me when i i mean it's been probably five years since i played it or something i don't know three four years it was progression and monetization so basically uh the fact that your heroes leveled up or your squads your cards your units whatever you had to kind of level them up over time and you would have mismatched pvp experiences where you'd play people with just legitimately higher level units and then that would feel kind of unfair which of course would encourage you to go down the spending loop and that part of it sucked but if all things were equal, I thought the gameplay was kind of fun. It's this sort of tower defense slash, um, I don't know, tower offense <laughs> kind of game, which had some some neat implications. I thought there were some real strategic upsides. And this seems to be delivering on that aspect of Clash Royale, but also has a nice PvE component. It seemed like some of those raid bosses had legitimate mechanics and such. And, you know, Mercenaries in Hearthstone is the same sort of, I'm going to build a team of stuff, I'm going to go down this PvE experience, and I'm going to try to fight the boss. But the the Mercenaries gameplay is pretty simplistic in the, in the end of the day. This has a lot more going on, it seems like, and, you know, a little bit more kind of action or live as opposed to the kind of strategic turn-based world of Mercenaries. That is actually sort of promising. I liked that, and I'm sure there will also be a PvP component. Yes, PvE and PvP. So that's intriguing. So yeah, I was expecting Clash of Clans based on what people said, but this is definitely a little bit more Clash Royale. So it sounds like some of you are intrigued by the gameplay. Some of you like the art style fine. A lot of you don't. Going for a younger market. Yeah, not only younger market, actually. I think, surprisingly, an older market also finds this art style far more acceptable. Think, like, 49-year-old mom right? Like, she will play this as opposed to, like, you know, if it looks too edgy and, and cool and super fantasy, right, they'll kind of be turned off. So both potentially younger, but also actually potentially much older as well. So I'm not going to go through this full website right now. I probably will go through this for a video in more detail or different components. Like, this actually, like, this this looks pretty cool, honestly. Like, I don't hate this. this uh, I guess this is Tyrion. He looks kind of cool on his own but like in game i guess they look a little more cartoony and like burr, 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 burr. i'm gonna try to get in and play this anyway yeah like here that that's a good reminder is that they're supposed to be toys like that you know that's the sort of contextual explanation which it, it again i think it's well executed within that context it's just that some people will still want it to look more cool but you know if you're on your phone it's not like you're looking for like crazy high quality graphics anyway you know so it is for that scale and it does not seem like this is pc focused at all of course it's all vertical gameplay that's gonna feel weird on pc right unlike diablo immortal for instance so seems like they're not even thinking about the pc audience for this so they don't have to sort of accommodate that side of the world I don't know. I, I'm like sort of intrigued. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to give it a good faith effort. The, the things that will make me not play this are number one, I guess, whether it's fun or not, obviously, like, is, is it going to be fun? I think that it looks like there's potential for fun, but what I'm probably going to be turned off by if I had to guess, which is always the case for mobile games, is monetization and progression. If the monetization and progression aren't friendly and I feel like I either have to spend a crap ton of money or spend a crap ton of time in order to make any legitimate progression in this game, then that's going to make me go away. Like, I just, you know, I, I can't do that. I will happily spend, uh, you know, 20 bucks, 30, 40, 50 bucks on a game if I feel like I'm getting value out of it. But if they start demanding more or they start time gating me, that's going to push me away. But I guess we won't see that yet. Things like this make me really nervous, right? Level up your army and collect Warcraft minis. This has that sort of hero grinder feel of a game like Mercenaries or many of those others, Raid Shadow Legends, Marvel Strike Force, etc. Clash Royale, actually another example that did that. 
so that makes me a little bit nervous but it, you know i don't want to i don't want to condemn it too soon we'll see but like see level 12 level 10 you know upgrade button these sorts of things only one currency showing that's kind of a good sign maybe because that of course is one of our biggest issues with um mercenaries is all the different currencies you needed but we don't know perhaps there's some other currency demanded to upgrade these but i'm gonna i'm gonna take a deeper dive in all this stuff for a, for like a dedicated video i just wanted to do a a quick preview video to learn what we could which is this video let you guys give your first takes there was another currency in the video okay i'll double check all that yeah i don't know man i don't think it's really probably a game that's made for me it looks like you know I don't want to totally shut it down until we get a look at it, right? Like, I want to give it a shot. If the gameplay and the boss fights are as engaging as they... They kind of seem like they're engaging. I don't know if he's doing a lot of mechanics or just kind of hitting the thing that's closest to him, but there's potential for some interesting mechanical timing stuff. Like, oh, he does three swings, and then he does a big AoE, or, you know, then he jumps to the bottom of the screen or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what it would be, but those sorts of things could make it pretty fun to actually fight raid bosses in the game. Because they showed that on Ixia Raid Boss. Like, what does that mean? Conquest, Dungeons, Raids, Co-op, and PvP. I feel like this is a game that might be a few years late, which has always been Blizzard's trend. They always make games late, except Hearthstone, actually, was, like, the only game they've ever made early. Uh, Hearthstone came out, and it was, like, really the first big digital CG, CCG, right? They, they actually got ahead of the curve on Hearthstone. And then everybody else copied them with Hearthstone. Most Blizzard games come out late and refine the model. They don't try to create a new model. So, you know, that's worked in some cases and it certainly failed in others. Like with Heroes of the Storm, it was just too late to the MOBA genre and it just never quite took off. I actually think Heroes is, is probably the best MOBA in a lot of ways, but just came in late. Didn't have enough time to disrupt. Refine is one word. You don't think World of Warcraft refined the mmo genre i think it absolutely did and it it's certainly uh not holding up quite as well these days but it really did and overwatch refined the the hero shooter genre as well say what you want about both of them in their current states but i don't think there's any denying that when wow and overwatch showed up they were both incredibly successful and genre defining games and hearthstone too honestly hearthstone too so we'll see. I don't, you know, is it going to be that? Is it going to be the better, more accessible, more fun version of all these other incredibly successful games? Or is it just going to whiff? I don't know. I'll, I'll be honest. So I came away from that reveal feeling better about it than I did the Mercenaries reveal. And Mercenaries is in Hearthstone and using Hearthstone cards. So that's something. <laughs> like I actually came away feeling better than Mercs. That's maybe a good sign. I don't know.